you're looking at the examples that are there in the book, they do a proportion. They basically set two fractions equal to each other. And I say it's just easier. Take whatever the probability of, of the event happening is. Theoretically, what's the probability? Times the number of times you're going to repeat the process, the number of attempts that there are. So if we look at the year term, number one, predict how many times you will roll a number less than five. So the first thing I've got to do is write down the probability of less than five. Roll in a regular number cube, what's the total number of faces on a standard dot? Six. How many of those faces have a number that's less Four. than five? Four. 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 One, two, three, and Four. Four. But 4, 6, we could simplify that, correct? Yeah. What would it simplify to? Right. Two thirds. So, the first thing I'm going to find is the probability of the event actually taking place. If they ask me to predict, here they said I'm going to roll it how many times? How many times? How many times? Two hundred and fifty times. If the probability of getting it is two out of three, but I'm going to roll it two hundred and fifty times, they're asking how many times would I get a number that's less than four? Please don't get confused by a fraction. I could put it as a decimal. Or I can multiply the two numbers that are going to be on the top. 2 times 250. And divide it by the denominator, the number that's in the bottom. Divide it by 3. It's 166.6 repeating, is it not? Now, let me ask you a question. If I'm rolling a die, am I going to get 166.6 as an outcome? No. No way. No so way. what would I round this to? You would do 167. It would be 167 times. If I roll it 250 times, I can predict that 167 times I'm going to get a number that's less than 5. five. Find the probability that that event is going to happen. Multiply it by the number of times you're going to repeat that process. Attempt it. Here I was attempting it 250 times. Okay. Number two, you flip a fair coin. Why do you think it says a fair coin? Heads and not a two-headed coin or a two-tailed coin. It's a fair coin. It's got both a heads and a tails. And you're going to flip it 18 times. This 18 represents the number of times I'm going to attempt something. It says, about how many times would you expect to get a head? So, I'm going to do the probability of getting a head, which is 1 out of 2. And I'll take 1 over 2 times 18. The probability times the number of attempts. Obviously, 1 times 18 is? Divided by 2 is? So, if I flip a coin 18 times, 9 of the times I should expect that I'm going to get a head. Yeah. Likewise, 9 of the times I should expect I'm going to get 
tails because they are the same. Is everybody okay with the first two examples? When you're predicting, you need to know what the probability is that that event can occur, and you multiply that probability by the number of times you're going to repeat that process or attempt to get that outcome. Can I go on? Let's look at the year turn three and four. A bag of marbles contains eight red marbles, four blue marbles, five white marbles. Okay. Tom picks a marble at random. Is it more likely that he picks a red marble or another color? It's red. First off, in order to do the probability, I have to know how many what? Total. Total. So, let's talk about the probability of anything. There's 8 and 4, which is 12, and 5 more is 17. Now, what is the probability, then, of getting red? 8 out of 17. Notice what it says. Or the probability of another color. In other words, the probability of not red. If I'm talking about the probability of another color, 17 minus 8 would be 9. Or you're right, I could have added the 4 and the 5 together. Which one's more likely to take place? Another color is more likely. Now, let me ask one more question. Which color specifically is the most likely to happen? Red. I wouldn't even have to calculate the probability. There's more red marbles than there are any other color. I'm just saying, if the question said, which one is most likely? Which color? Which one is least likely? Blue, because there's less of them. I wouldn't have to calculate the probability. There's only four blue marbles. Obviously, it has a smaller chance of happening. That makes sense to everybody? At a fundraiser, a school group charges $6 for tickets. Okay. You choose one bill at random from a bag that contains 40 $1 bills, 20 $5 bills, 5 $10 bills, 5 $20 bills, and one $100 bill. What is it's those things I don't need. How many bills total are in the bag? Four. Mm -hmm. Five. Five. Wait, you mean like all How many total bills? Oh. Oh. Forty, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-one. There's seventy-one bills in the bag. Okay. It says, "Is it likely that you'll win enough to pay for your ticket?" How much was the ticket? Twenty-five. 
$6. So, I've got to look at the bills that have a value greater than what? Six. There are five $10 bills. I can count that. I can count five $20 bills. I'm up to 10 bills, right? And $100 bills. There's 11 bills that I could pick from. What is 11 divided by 71? All right, enough. Point one five four. Good enough. Fifteen point four percent. Is it likely that I'm going to win enough to pay for my ticket? Uh -huh. No, no. 15% chance that I'm going to win enough. Oh, is it likely? No. What would it have to be percentage wise to be considered likely? 15. Over what? 70. Over 50. 70. All it has to be is over what? 50. If it's over 50%, it's considered likely. If it's 50%, it's as likely as not. not. If it's less than 50%, it's not likely or unlikely. 0% means it can't happen, not possible. 100% means not likely. It is absolute. It's Guaranteed going to happen. Certain. Okay? Everybody everybody good so far? Yes? We good? Go on. I don't even want you to look for it. I want you to pay attention up here. I don't want you to look for it. I don't want you to write anything down. I want you to pay attention. Okay? I want to make sure everybody pays attention. During the raffle drawing, half of the ticket holders will receive a prize. What's the probability of winning any prize so far? 50%. 50%. Half the people. The winners are equally likely to win one of three prizes a book, a gift certificate to a restaurant, or a movie ticket. Okay? If there are 300 ticket holders, predict the number of people that will win a movie ticket. Okay. If the probability of winning anything is a half, What's the probability of getting a movie ticket? Just the movie ticket. Not one-fourth, one-third. When you have a compound event, you can multiply the probability together. One-half times one-third would be one-sixth. So the probability of getting a movie ticket would be one out of six. One out of six people are going to get a what? Movie ticket. Now I can predict. I found the probability of getting a movie ticket. How do I make my prediction? I take one sixth my probability times what? Now, 1 times 300 is 300, right? And then I divide 300 by 6. 50 people are going to win a what? Movie ticket. 
How many people? How many people would win a book? Fifty. How many people would win a gift certificate to a restaurant? How many people are going to win something overall? A hundred and fifty. Fifty in each group. Does everybody get it? Yeah. And there's your assignment.